Iranian-born Israelis have expressed their skepticism over the recent deal between world powers and Iran regarding Tehran's nuclear program. The CEO of a Persian radio station based in Israel said that the Islamic Republic would not stick to their end of the deal. We don't believe this agreement. We don't think it will hold. It's a matter of time until the West finds out the essence of the Iranian regime. We, as Israelis, obviously know this essence the best. We felt it ourselves for 35 years. In the marketplace of a Tel Aviv area known as Little Persia, an Israeli with Iranian descent also raised concerns over the nuclear deal. The deal does not give a good answer for us. It is not good for Israel's security. We've been hoping for an agreement that would really guarantee our security, our future. But the West, including America, really discounted us. I hope that in future they will take the state of Israel much more into account so that there will be a good deal, so that we will be calm and our children will be raised in full security like in any other country in the world. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu reflected the opinion of many Jews and Israelis when he described the Iranian nuclear deal as a historic mistake. As a result of these concerns, the United States has made a number of telephone calls to Jewish leaders in America in efforts to bring them on side. The six-month interim nuclear deal is intended to lead to a far-reaching agreement between world powers and Iran. The temporary agreement is reportedly supported by 44% of Americans, compared to just 22% who are opposed, according to a recent Reuters poll. The analysis raises concerns that Israel could become isolated in its opposition to the deal. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani recently commented during a television interview that it's our enemies who are secluded. Rouhani also referred to an occupier, now being considered a pariah state.